your girl Coco, your boy Baby Five, Man Man, and Romance, Mama Coco. We at Walmart. We in Buena Park, California, y'all. I know it's been some days, but this is the Wednesday mental check-in. And I'm going to explain to y'all during the Wednesday check-in why we've been gold for so long. But we are doing way better. We are at Walmart because we had to come pick up Five's medicine. And yeah, y'all. So just stay tuned. Mama Coco bought a fish tank. I didn't get that on camera because she didn't buy it with me. She bought it with my brother. And yeah, y'all. So I'm going to tell y'all. But it is a stomach virus going around. So y'all be careful, y'all. I haven't been able to do my homework because I've just been so man down, as y'all see. The wig is done, but it's cool, y'all. I'm going to take the wig off and give it a break. But yeah, y'all, we at Walmart looking for Mama Coco, a fish tank stand. I told her it's not one in here, but I think she just wanted to get out the house. We've been going through so much, you guys. And I'm going to keep y'all updated, and I'm going to post y'all. Um, this is the first time in like a while. Five has been outside, but I needed to get him some fresh air because... He will be returning to school probably the end of next week. He only goes two days, as I told y'all. So he probably gonna go Thursday and Friday. I haven't decided yet, but I'm trying to like, just, you know, get his, get everything back up, y'all. But so, as y'all know, I'm gonna tell y'all this virus part first. A virus has been going around. It's a stomach virus. So five had it when we went to see Danielle, y'all. And, um... Five had it when we went to see Danielle. He was throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. And I told y'all, and I just didn't know what it was. I thought he just had an upset stomach. So I ended up taking him to the ER, as y'all remember. Or if y'all follow us, I took him to the ER. And they said he had a virus and just keep him on fluids. Not, It doesn't really matter. It matters. But if he wasn't eating, it was fine. Just keep him fluid and make sure he had fluids and was using the bathroom. So he was using the bathroom recently. But he threw up again last night. So um, they sent him over some nausea medicine just to satisfy his stomach. But then I got it. But I only had it for one day, and obviously my body and how I am is like way stronger than a baby. So they gave him some pain medicine and stuff, and we just trying to help him shake this virus. And Five is looking for me crying, so I'm gonna go over here with him, y'all. But I'm gonna come back and tell y'all. So he is doing better. He crying right now because he want me. But we're back. All right, here is gang. So I'm back, and I got a lot of homework to do. But I want to come on here and do a little Walmart haul. My phone died in there, so I couldn't even finish vlogging. But y'all, I got five this cute little linen outfit. It's a 2T. It kind of looked like the shorts is too small. But I think this is unisex or it's probably for girls or boys. But it was only 13 bucks. I couldn't pass it up. He's in a 2T. I got him this little cotton set. I don't know if I got this out the girls section or the boys section. But these brands, it's like easy peasy. They are usually unisex. So that'll work. Just some other things because summer is approaching. And I love Walmart. A good Walmart fit. And y'all know I got all the t-shirts. I feel so bad for the other people, but they be so sold out. I had to. It's like 10 white t-shirts. I could get them from 18 months, 24 months, and two tees. He fits them all, but undershirts, you can never go wrong. And it's hard to find a nice undershirt that's thick. And that works for five. And I got him these. I'm going to deck them out for St. Patrick's Day. And they some unisex overalls. I got these also in a 2T. And he's going to wear these to school. I hope he's feeling better by then, y'all. So y'all keep five in y'all prayers for that. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in his closet. His light in his room is not working right now. And it's so crazy because the newer apartments now that we live in, they never have lights in them anymore. Like, I don't know. I guess it's the older apartments. Or maybe it's just me. I don't know. But anyway, here's the game. So I'm going to go ahead and finish telling y'all everything that's been going on. And then I'm going to rush off of here to go do some homework, y'all. So just stay tuned. All right, here's the game. And that machine in the back is five sound machines. So let me turn it off. Um, But yeah, here's the game. So like I was saying about five earlier. And I know this is like dull. But I'm redoing my room. I'm always... What is that? Oh, the camera must be dirty. I'm always redoing my room. But whatever, y'all. So our bed spreads are really like... They were nasty. But I took them and I washed them. Because not only did I throw up all over them. Five threw up on them first. So I washed them. Then I got back in the bed. Then I got sick. So we were using like the spare covers we had. So now, whatever. So my virus lasted a day. A full day. So I started feeling like... Like crampish. Like and like... If you older, hangoverish. Right after I ate some Chinese food. So me thinking like I don't eat Chinese food. But I just ordered it. It was late. It was the only thing open on Uber Eats. 
and I probably did something I shouldn't have did. So don't come for me in the comments because I know I shouldn't have did it, but I'm so thirsty for a fountain drink, y'all. So they brought it. The orange chicken didn't look too okay. It looked brown. It wasn't orange. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I still ate it. Thankfully, I did not feed it to five. Um, and then I had a fountain drink. This time, the fountain drink didn't have the cover over the top of the lid and it wasn't like secure, but I was so thirsty for a soda because I literally took the soda out of my, my house or whatever so I could stay away from soda and I still managed to get sick, y'all. Let me drink some water. I'm trying to get more on water. So, um, yeah, you guys. So that happened. And that night, I want to say around 11 p.m., if I was already asleep, I automatically started feeling sick. Um, prior to that, five had just got back from the hospital the day before. And he was still doing good, y'all. Hadn't threw up. Then the next day, I woke up. I couldn't get out the bed. Like, I felt like I had, like, a massive hangover, which I didn't. And I just automatically started throwing up. I know it's kind of graphic. I'm so sorry. Trigger warning. Um, and all I seen was the Chinese food, y'all. So, that was cool. I woke up, like, at 10, threw up, boom, laid down. I gave five pancakes in bed um, and a cup of milk. But, mind you, I still have to look after what I'm feeding him because if I don't, then he will get sick. Like, you know, I didn't want both of us to be sick. And, honestly, Mom Coco been dealing with her eye. And, you know, other than me, Mom Coco has a life and she has other kids. And, you know, she has to tend to all her other kids. So, at that time, she was watching her other granddaughter. Her, granddaughter, um, her name is Four Dallas. I mean, her name is Dallas. She's four. So, um, yeah, so, like, I was just so sick that whole day. But five is so strong. I had to shout him out because the whole time I was just throwing up, he was by my side, y'all. He was giving me toilet paper, little thin pieces. He didn't know. And he was flushing the toilet and, like, just patting my head. And I know you're probably like, well, why were you letting him stay there, y'all? It was to the point where, like, I had no choice. I couldn't. I had. It was either throw up all on the floor and not have nobody to clean it up or run to the toilet and just, you know, disinfect everything after. So that whole day, five literally, I didn't get out the bed not once. I slept all day. Every time my phone ring, five would wake me up. He was on his tablet, the most screen time he's ever had. Um, here comes five right now. The most screen time he's ever had. Hi, my strong baby. Hold on, daddy. Um, give me that. Give mommy that napkin on the floor. Give me the tissue. Um. I'm trying to wipe. Oh, here it is. I'm trying to wipe his nose, you guys. His nose is still running, but I took him. I got it. I took him off of his allergy medicine for a minute because he wasn't eating. He wasn't eating. He only been drinking. Now he's slowly starting to eat. Hold on, y'all. I hope the tripod don't fall. Come on. Ow. Okay. So, say hi, Harris Gang. Say hi. Pound it. Give Harris Gang some pound it. Pound it. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> We just got back literally right now. Um, take your other house off. You want to take your jacket off? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, y'all. So, yeah, like I was just so tired, but about time the nighttime came, five was very sleepy. He got out the bed, he was playing with his toys. My room is jacked up because he put every toy from in his room over here, and like in the daytime, his room is very light. so he obviously did it um in the daytime his windows was closed his his room is baby ties or whatever so i had no worries um but yeah so that happened and then the next day i woke up i was like and then the aftermath was like you just still feel like you nauseous but you don't have to throw up which was great for me because it seemed like the next day five got yeah hey five start like getting sick again and i kind of feel bad because i wasn't able to get up and give him his medicine like i could barely stand up but i was able to feed him the stuff that he wanted but mostly it was just liquid because he was still he still had the virus eat <laughs> more more what you learning your sign language more what you want some more of those crackers you gotta go get it you so smart i can't believe you did that on camera i've been trying to get him to show y'all but not y'all but just people period he only do it at school Okay. Oh, hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So, um, five went out. But, um, yeah, so that was me. And then the next day, he came back because he heard me talking to y'all. Um, the next day, I want to talk to them by myself, daddy. The bed is so high now, he can't get up here. Come on. Oh, your nose is running. I don't really want you on there with your nose running, but you're a kid. Um, so 
yeah so the next day then he started feeling cool my mama actually came over here and start you showing him more good job yes more more what chips you want more chips no don't eat your hand more what okay um that's so crazy that he did that i'm like shocked um okay anyway so mama coco came over here the next day so that was tuesday today is thursday mama come up mama coco came over here the next day and then so crazy my mom's sister actually got in a real bad car accident she was carjacked at gunpoint i don't want to really go too deep in it but you guys continue to keep my mom and her sister in your prayers she's actually doing better she was in the icu um and she will be home tomorrow so shout out to auntie coco y'all um yeah so today i'm feeling way better five last night five threw up once but i don't think he threw up because be careful he was asleep when he threw up so he was sleeping i you know how you wake up and your mouth is dry but as a child i think his mouth was so dry like from the saliva and stuff he gagged and he threw up so ever since then he hasn't threw up but today they sent over some zofran which is a uh, nausea medicine and some ibuprofen so i just gave it to him because i don't know he can't tell me if his throat is hurting or if his stomach hurting but i know after that one day i throwing up my throat and everything was just hurting bad so i have been i haven't took any medicine um i actually took i not took i actually drank some immune plus stress tea and it kind of helped me a lot i took an ibuprofen pm last night to go to sleep just because i have been so tired um from the prior day just constantly throwing up so yeah y'all um but right now i'm fine i have to get up and do this homework because i cannot fail this spanish class i will never take a spanish class any foreign language class at home again because it's really tough having a toddler and it's kind of i know people probably be like well you don't do anything throughout the day i really be busy and i drain myself so much my mom always be telling me like why are you so tired and i'm on here just talking like this a video diary but that's what i'm gonna start calling them video diaries you coming back uh, i'm gonna start talking like this is like wednesday video diary or whatever hi <laughs> Um, but yeah, y'all, so that was just a little check-in. I wanted to come in and let y'all know, but I do have to go do homework and we just gonna exit out of here. So I love y'all here. It's gang, baby. Five love y'all. Most of all, Mama Coco love y'all. I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. You going downstairs to mom? He calls my mom, ma. Um, all right, here's gang. I love y'all. Mama Coco love y'all. Auntie Coco love y'all. Then you'll love y'all. Baby, five love y'all. Romance love y'all. Sorry. Peace. Ooh, five.